In this video, we'll uncover fascinating facts about ancient Corinth, once a hub of culture, commerce, and spirituality. Then, we'll soar over the awe-inspiring Acrocorinth, a fortress that has stood the test of time. Finally, we'll witness the engineering marvel of the Corinth Canal, a narrow passage connecting seas and history. You're watching Top Places in Greece. Welcome to Epic Greece Series. Ancient Corinth was one of the most important and prosperous city-states in ancient Greece. Its history dates back to the Mycenaean period, 2000 to 1100 BC, and it continued to thrive through the classical, Hellenistic, and Roman periods. The city was dominated by the Acrocorinth, a rocky hill that served as a natural acropolis. It was fortified and played a significant role in the defense and strategic control of the region. Ancient Corinth was strategically located for trade and commerce. It had two major ports, Lekaion on the Corinthian Gulf and Kentrai on the Saronic Gulf, which facilitated trade between the Greek mainland, Asia Minor, and Italy. Corinth was home to several temples and religious sites, including the Temple of Apollo and the Temple of Octavia. Corinthian columns, characterized by their ornate and decorative capitals with acanthus leaves, are one of the three major architectural orders in classical Greek architecture. They were popularized in Corinth and became widespread in later Greek and Roman architecture. The Apostle Paul visited Corinth in the first century AD and wrote two letters to the Corinthians, which are now part of the New Testament in the Bible. His visits are significant in the history of early Christianity. During the Roman period, Corinth became the capital of the province of Achaia. It prospered as a Roman colony and became a major commercial and cultural center in the eastern Mediterranean. In 146 BC, Corinth was destroyed by the Roman general Lucius Mummius, but it was later rebuilt as a Roman city. It continued to flourish until it was sacked by the Visigoths in 396 AD. Today, ancient Corinth is an important archaeological site that attracts tourists and scholars from around the world. Visitors can explore the ruins of temples, buildings, and the ancient marketplace, gaining insights into the city's rich history. Acrocorinth, also known as the Acropolis of Corinth, is a prominent archaeological site and fortress, located on a steep, rocky hill, which overlooks the ancient city of Corinth. This place has a rich history dating back to ancient times. It was settled as early as the 7th century BC and has been continuously inhabited and fortified by various civilizations, including the Romans, Byzantines, Venetians, and Ottomans. The strategic location of Acrocorinth made it an ideal defensive stronghold as it offered commanding views of the surrounding region, including the Isthmus of Corinth. It controlled access to the Peloponnese Peninsula and was a key military and political center. Acrocorinth was home to several temples and shrines dedicated to various gods and goddesses, including Aphrodite, Apollo, and Venus. During the Roman and Byzantine periods, it was further fortified and expanded. It served as a vital military outpost and played a role in the defense of the Byzantine Empire. Today, Acrocorinth is a popular tourist destination and a remarkable archaeological site that allows visitors to explore layers of history from ancient Greece. The Corinth Canal is a famous waterway in Greece that connects the Aegean Sea in the east with the Ionian Sea in the west. It is located in the narrow strip of land known as the Isthmus of Corinth which separates the Peloponnese Peninsula from the Greek mainland. The idea of constructing a canal 
through the Isthmus of Corinth, dates back to ancient times. The ancient Greeks, including rulers like Periander and Nero, considered the possibility of building a canal, but were unable to complete the task, due to technological limitations. The modern construction of the Corinth Canal began in the late 19th century. It was officially opened on July 25, 1893. The canal was a significant engineering achievement of its time, as it required the excavation of solid rock through the narrow isthmus. The canal is surrounded by steep cliffs that rise up to 90 meters, which is about 300 feet, on either side, creating a dramatic and picturesque setting. This unique landscape adds to the visual appeal of the canal. The Corinth Canal is approximately 6.4 kilometers or 4 miles long. Its width varies, but it is generally about 25 meters wide, at the water's surface, which is about 82 feet and 21 meters deep, or 69 feet. These dimensions restrict the size of ships that can pass through it. The Corinth Canal primarily serves as a shortcut for small ships, leisure boats, and cruise liners, traveling between the Aegean and Ionian Sea, avoiding the lengthy trip around the southern tip of the Peloponnese. The canal is also a popular tourist attraction due to its stunning scenery and the unique experience of watching ships navigate through the narrow passage. There are viewpoints and bridges along its length that offer excellent vantage points for visitors. And that brings us to the end of our journey today. If you found this video informative and inspiring, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for our next adventure, as we continue to uncover the wonders of Greece. Thanks all for watching, I'm John and I'll see you on the next one.